Good morning, everybody. So today we are going to have a dog right in the way. Gizmo, it's not about you today. Go lay down. Go. Go lay down. Or sit down right here. Uh, no. 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 No, Freckles, you stay up there too. My dogs are all coming. I'm sorry, guys. My dogs are amazing, but sometimes they are just like... Oh, I just want to take you guys. Okay, um, so I'm going to basically show you guys why, or not why, <laughs> how I organize my medical supplies. Um, now that I'm um, doing home infusions, you know, I actually have more stuff to show. Uh, and it took a little bit to get everything kind of like in order, not here at the house, um, but just with the medical supply company and deliveries and still it's kind of a mess. Um... But it's okay. Um, the only thing that's new is this piece right here. I did get that after because I realized that everything behind me, there's just a lot of big spaces and I could put like little drawers inside of them, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I ended up using those for like organization for part of the house. And so I ended up buying this so that it's a little bit smaller and then back here for larger things. So I'm basically going to show you my ins and outs, everything, how I do everything. This may not work for you. You might have more items than I do. Larger items, smaller items, a small amount of items. Um, I'm very organized. What you see behind here is how my whole house is. Um, everything is organized with little stickers. Um, and it tells you what is in each, con in each spot. Of course, I already know. Um, this side, I don't really know. Um, but back here I do because I just, it just, it, how it is. So, um... Let's get going. Up right here, um, basically, the only things that were here originally were these two stands with pictures of the family, things like that. Um, but I started to make this, which is one of those twinkling lights. Um, and it has letters and stuff like that from other like uh, pair, uh, care package companies or donations or just letters from other people who wanted to write me. Um, I have... My meal list, it starts with 2019 because that's the, you know, I didn't want to like, I want to kind of do like a new thing for New Year's resolution. So I have it down to the time, what foods I'm going to eat, when I have to take my meds, etc. Um, these are for my knees because um, I do go to physical therapy. So I, I try to do them. I probably don't, but yeah. On this side of the wall, I have this. I just ordered. I love it. Used it for, I think, the very very first day maybe even the second day um, of home infusions and then we started the pump so that I could be more mobile I also have behind here my uh, oxygen tanks I have my medium sized one and then I have a mini one in here and then a nunny and a nunny another medium one back or small one back there these are more like my supplements I have a uh, CBD oil some vitamin B nail stuff um, and things are really just saline. <laughs> I don't know why I have those. Uh, St. John's Wort, it's brand new. I've never even used it and I don't know why I have it. Turmeric, which is amazing. And then I designed these. It kind of, um, I don't know, keeps my spirits up. But at least I have this one right next to my bed. This is another oxygen machine. This is my biggest one. This is the one I use on a regular, or not a regular, but this is the one I would use when I'm home um, and in my room. And it's right next to my bed. So um, I would show you everything around there, but I was sick last night, and so it's a little bit messy on that side. So I'll, just, I'll, I'll keep that away from you guys, okay? Everything here, we have, um, this is the newest one. So basically in the first drawer, it's just like these kind of masks, which I never use, and some ear swabbies. We have um, all the extras, you know, tourniquets, you know, the scissors, um, tape, uh, you know, bandages, stuff like that, then I can't really use them. Um, these ones are brand new. I like these ones better than like these. They're a lot stronger, and this is the kind I have one here. They're like blue, and they're perfect. Especially since I need to use them for, oh, it has to stay for a week time in and out of showers. Um, we got the uh, um, 24 gauge needles, which is written over here. We got the 22 gauge needles, we use 24. Um, we got my extension sets here. We got um, IV starter kits here, as well as 
admin set. So basically, um, these ones are for the pump. We also have a few back here that are made for, um, you know, gravity grip. I said gravity grip. <laughs> gravity. Wow. Um, IV flushes, which I go out, I go through very quickly, especially since I have to flush my IV twice a day when I'm not um, actually using it. Uh, these are my caps. And then done, down, done here is basically my pump when I'm done with it, the batteries, some sleeves in case I need them for the shower. So that's how I organize that. This is what we, I had originally and then I just kind of added stuff throughout the time. So these are my everyday meds that I take. Um, I'm missing about four or five, which are going to be meds that I um, keep in my bag so they're more like as needed and these are always. Um, this here, so basically even says on here, medicine. Um, this one says knee and muscle pain. So anything dealing with your muscle pain, I keep in here. Um, anything dealing with my knees, I keep in here as well. So I have um, extreme knee problem. We have some vinyl gloves. Uh, this is where I keep like my heart monitor, my wrist monitor, um, any kind of pumps, which they're, they're on my bed right now. Um, and then these here are my oxygen masks. Okay, on this side, um, alcohol, which goes very quickly, band-aids, um, gauze or sponges. So after I pull out the needle, I can use those to help for the bleeding. Um, I get these from the doctor's office. Okay, yes, I take them when I'm waiting for the doctor, but I mean, come on now. They're basically just alcohol swabs, hand sanitizers, um, some more. Uh, these ones are latex, and the other ones are, um, what are the other ones? Late, uh, yeah, these ones are latex. And these ones are vinyl. Um, these ones I got from the infusion center and the other ones I paid for myself. And back here, I have basically the little like doggy pads. <laughs> um, I get them from the infusion center, but sometimes they send me like one or two and I'm like, let me just go buy a box for myself. And I basically use this to kind of cover under my arm. So in case I get any blood anywhere, these are to protect it. That one's empty. I'm sure I'll find something for that side. Here is basically what I use when my inf when my nurse comes. So I have everything set up for her so she doesn't have to kind of go through everything you see here. So um, when you open up one, we have, uh, I have 24 and 22 gauge needles. I always have one. I have a cap of each color. Um, I have some of the alcohol, um, tourniquets, and then we have some tape under here. We have saline flush, um, basically the IV set the extension set, etc. So she will always have exactly what she needs right here on top. So as soon as she's done using it, um, whether it be Monday or Thursday, when she leaves, I reapply every item that she had used. And then of course we have the sharps container. And then this is from Good or uh, from Walmart. It is actually a, a cooking pan, but it's thick and it's wide and it's hefty duty. And I also have this one, which is smaller as well. So then we have this. Now this I get on a regular basis. Um, this is the, the container that my infusion comes in and all my supplies. It comes in a, a larger size, the medium size, which is this, and then the, a half size. I have medium in the half sizes. Uh, something tells me I will be getting a large one next time. So um, of course there's no needles in this one. They are in the sharps container, but I do use this for all the other medical supplies because there is blood and it just, it's gross. So um, I used to keep it closed, but it's a lot of work opening and closing. So I just keep it closed or open and the bottom's there. And then when it's full, which it's really full right now, I just close the top and I can throw it in the garbage and I know that it's safe and no one else can get infected or anything like that. So I love these. I keep them all here at the house and I collect them. So these are the plastic containers I had for a while now. We have heart monitor. Um, basically, it's, I always get heart monitors and I always run out of these. So I just keep them. These are also different kinds of monitors because I've had so many and when I get too many, I just save them for in case I need more when I get um, another monitor sent to my home. These are masks. Um, it says pick line because I thought I was getting a pick line so I have pick line covers, but these are masks. Um, and then of course, um, tubi clips. Uh, then we have the medication. So these are more medication. These are empty. I collect them just like, I just feel like I always use them for something. And then these are extra medications. Um, yeah, I'll, 
I'll keep that a little closer. I don't want to have anyone all up in the privacy. Um, but I basically keep them because I had too many of them or I stopped them for a while. So then I have way too many. And so I just keep them in there. And then these are my snacks, basically uh, salty foods. So I have, you know, salty drinks, Gatorade, some peanuts, little peanuts so that I can put in my bag when I'm, you know, doing stuff. Um, and then these, will help, which helps with my GI system. So that's what's in that one. And then here, my saline. Now, unfortunately, it's empty. Because I no longer do gravity drip, um, I have to keep my saline in the refrigerator. So this is always empty. I'm sure I'll figure out something else to put this in here or put it in here. I just don't have anything. These are my dressing changes. Now, typically you need these more for like pick lines or even a port, but they keep sending them to me and my nurse does use some of the items in here. Um, and I do like the fact that there is those like pads right here, like the, I call them doggy pee pads. So, you know, I can always use them and there's certain items here that she does like and if I need them for an emergency, I have them. And then we have my knee therapy. So basically anything dealing with my knee, uh, my intense knee pads. I have knee pads under here that are, are amazing um i have my machine which is this and then they're actually in bags in here it's a lot in here but this is all very very organized for my knee therapy i have my little man my favorite animals are pigs elephants and any kind of like ape monkey so that's him and i finally got him set up to look similar to me i don't know if he's a him or her but i guess since i just said him it's a him <laughs> and then we have my bathroom a bathroom that i never use it's just way too small hello um, and here is this. I don't use this, this, um, uh, what do you call it? Shower ever. So these are all the empty, empty containers that my infusion stuff comes in. Um, I have to keep this because I have, I put my sharps container in here when it's full and I return it back to them and they take care of it. And then this is more saline in here. Um, and then this is my to-go bag for if I ever have to go to the hospital. I have everything set and ready. And then this is, um, for my wheelchair it's actually my smart drive so i put my smart drive in there and i put it into my like my actual room and i plug it in to get it charged so that's what's in there and i am using my cell phone because after i did the very first clip with you guys my phone or my uh my actual camera died and i felt like i didn't charge it at all this week so i have to use this basically that is how i set up my uh, my medical supplies, everything is very organized. There's nothing out of place besides that. And that actually normally goes behind so you don't see the wire. But otherwise, it looks very full, but it's very clean. Everything is organized. There's not a thing out of its spot. And that's how I like it. Um, and then I have a light there because my room has horrible lighting. I have two lights, one on each side of my bed, and they're just horrible. I have in here my saline bags. I have uh, some vitamin D vegan spray it smells or tastes like butthole and then um some of my medications that need to be cooled down i keep everything in the refrigerator i also have one downstairs but i won't get into that it's kind of gross so yeah that's what i put in to my refrigerator all right guys so that is all i have for all my medical organization um i hope you enjoyed i hope you like my setup i actually like it really a, a really a lot i can't speak today a lot while I'm actually like in focus and watching my video, I can see everything and I kind of like it, especially this. I kind of wish I had more of them, but I mean, whatever. But um, I have to now wait for my nurse to get here. I actually had to disconnect from my infusion and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please still give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm still new, new at YouTube. I mean, it's been about six months, but yeah. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns, let me know if you want to kind of set up the way I did and want to know where I got certain items, just comment below. I also have a Instagram. It is underscore zebra strong. Um, again, thank you again. <laughs> again, thank you again. And I will see you next time. Make sure to say zebra strong and have a great day, guys. Bye.